Hey guys, part two of this lesson. Uh, we're going to continue with the outliers mean media mode. And here are, um, this will be what you guys really, probably the slide you will use the most for your uh, lesson. It says, if there is no outlier, and I ask you what best describes the data set, the mean, the average is the best when there's not an, out, an outlier. If there is an outlier, we're going to say that the median is the best description of the data set. Why is that so? Well, if we go down to the bottom, an outlier skews the data set. What is it, what's the skew mean? The skew means, and then we have this right here. Skew, well, I don't want that shape, but cool. Skew means to change or distort in such a way that it makes the data inaccurate. So a, me, a uh, outlier makes our data inaccurate when we look at it. Um, so it just kind of messes up a little bit, skew, it screws it up, kind of sounds the same. So if we have an outlier, it messes with the median. And if a number repeats a lot, like a lot, not just once or twice, but a lot, we can say the mode is the best descriptor of the data set. So to reiterate, if we have an outlier, we don't want to use the mean because just like in Awesomeville, the outlier does not give us the full picture when we find the mean. Um, if there's an outlier, we want to use the median, and if a number repeats a lot, we want to use the mode. So let's look at some examples right here. We don't have to figure out mean, median, mode. I'm just asking you, looking at it, which one do you think would best describe this data set? So I have scores on a test being 98, 95, 90, 91, and 12, and which one best describes the, da the data set? Well, if I look here, this 12 is an outlier. So that would skew the mean. So what would be the best one here? It would be the median. And why? You'd simply say because the data set has an outlier of 12. And that outlier skews it, skews the mean, so we can't use the mean, so we'd have to use the median. Because if we go back up real quick, if I look here, an outlier uh, skews the mean, but an outlier does not skew the median. All right, back down. Here we have uh, the book prices, 13, 19, 15, 8, 12, and 103. Uh, apparently left the 103 and underline. The 103 is our outlier. So what best describes this data set? This would once again be the median. And why is it the median? Because the data set has an outlier. Just that simple. Hours doing homework. Five, eight, seven, nine, seven, six, five, ten, nine. None of those numbers jump out. None of those numbers are sig significantly big or significantly small compared to the rest. So we would say this would be the mean. And why is it the mean? Because there are no outliers. Oh, and I misspelled because apologize for that. Mean because there are no outliers. All right. Cookies in. One, two, 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 three, one, two, 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 three, two. On this one, I would say, I would definitely argue that there could be two possible answers on this one that I would accept. Uh, the first one I'd accept, well, is there an outlier? No, there's nothing that's significantly bigger or smaller. So I could say, hey, one option might be the mean because there is no outlier. Or the other option would be 
mode and why because I have a number that repeats a lot and I would say mode because two occurs very often or repeats a lot or is, a, is uh, repeated a lot in the data set. Both of those be right answers. I forgot the EM because again, what is wrong with me? Don't answer that. There we go. So both of those would be right answers for that one right there. All right. And here. Uh, trips to fast food. 8, 4, 13, 9, 29, 5, and 7. We have an outlier right there. An outlier would skew the mean. So we would have to say that this one is best described by the median because there is an outlier. And that's it. So hopefully